there is a campaign that I've been putting off for a long time. And that is my Horde Mega campaign. I have yet to do the Great Con, Con, Gold Rush, Their Con Only Be One, and Turning the Tide, which of course means playing until the end of the game. So we're going to be trying to get all five of these achievements in one campaign, which means I'm going to be going for a uh, Mongol Empire World Conquest. So this is going to be the first part of that. We're going to try and form the Golden Horde, and I hope you guys enjoy because we're going to wing this one. This is, uh, this is stupid. Well, everybody, uh, it's time to play as a horde again. I love playing hordes. Oh, it's so much fun. We're going for five achievements this run. At least, I think, at least five. Um, namely, the Gold Rush. Reform the Golden Horde by 1500 as the Great Horde. The uh, Khan, which is we're going to be restoring the Roman Empire, or the Mongol Empire, before the Age of Absolutism. We're going to be getting the Great Khan, starting as Mongolia or the Great Horde. Owner have subject of all the Chinese, Russian, and Persian region. We're also going to be getting their Khan only be one. Starting as a step forward, ensure there exists no other horde in the world. And then, oh god, kill me. We're going to be playing till the end of the game, um, getting turning the tide. So that means world conquest. And I um, hope you guys enjoy this because it's going to be a long one. Starting off, our ruler really sucks. Um, but we are a horde, so we do have decent mana generation. We just have to be conquering. Um, and at some point, maybe we kill the baby. The great thing about hordes is uh, you only have one estate to worry about, so we're going to sign... We almost have to sign that. Um, that manpower 20% is huge. Religious unity is at 100% right now. We don't need this yet, um, but we probably will have to give it at some point. You know what? Oh, yeah, we're going to be conquering a whole bunch of different stuff. We'll get that right away. Why not? It'll give up a little bit of our, our crown land, but we can just seize that after this. Dev costs we don't need. I think it'd be nice to get Ensure Tribal Loyalty. Um, you get 15 loyalty at the cost of 5 unity, which we'll be getting when raising. That'll let us probably seize land pretty effectively. That stab cost is also really nice. This doesn't matter because... Well, yeah, this one doesn't matter yet because our air really sucks. Um, we almost want the Tribal Succession, to be honest. So we'll just not click that one. And we'll just give the autonomy to the Chieftains. I think that'll do it. We're sitting at 70 loyalty, 60 equilibrium, or 70 influence, 60 loyalty equilibrium, and um, we'll summon the diet and seize land. Circassia is a subject. I'd rather not have a subject, but that's fine. All right, let's seize land then. No effect from the horde, so that's good. Decisions, we can always get that loyalty, and we need to uh, reform the golden horde. So looking at this, we just need to have all of these provinces. So we need to invade Crimea. We need to invade Kazan and Nogai. And we need to invade Muscovy. That's the big challenge. So let's come up with a little bit of a strategy here. Right, well, let's set our rivals. Um, we're going to rival Muscovy right away, if we can. Oh, it won't even let us. All right, we're going to rival Crimea. And we're going to rival Kazan. And we'll leave one open just in case we want to rival Muscovy. It'd be nice to get uh, Navgorod to help me beat up on them. I'm going to start improving relations with these guys. There we go. And we'll get the tax guy. We're still making money. We can get the... I don't need to improve relations too much. We'll get the trade efficiency guy. Still making money, two ducats, and I really like a different, a different guy here. But I don't, I don't have access to the burger loans, so regular loans have to do. And I kind of want my my money for recruitment, um, so we're not going to take the military guy. The first thing we need to do is get our force limit to ninety percent, uh, or our army of ninety percent of our force limit. So um, right now we have what sixteen troops, so we need four more for that. Um, that's perfect because I believe that's what oh, free company will be nine. Which we're gonna take. Where are we at? Yeah, we need we need the free company. We're actually gonna take one loan out for it, which kind of sucks, but we gotta do it. And um, we'll get that free company for sure. So once that's done, we'll be able to complete that mission, and that'll give us permanent claims and a general with an additional shock. So that'll help us in our first war. So we'll go ahead and we'll just start playing the game here. It looks like it wants us to um, invade Russia right away. Um, so we're either gonna do that either through we're gonna invade either Kazan. Crimea or Russia as a first target, but I need to get this, um, hopefully an alliance with Novgorod going on. I'm also going to ally Uzbek because they are big and red over here and friendly, and hopefully they'll help us out. I'm also going to probably improve relations with the Ottomans. If I can ally them, that would be amazing. All right, free company is done being built. We get the permanent claims and the general. Let's see what he looks like. Five shock. Nice. No siege, but that's all right. We're gonna pop our ruler on here. Ah, no siege on him, it's okay. Uzbek wants a royal marriage, you can have it, buddy. Can we ally Muscovy yet? Not quite. All right, um, Ryzon is free. Um, Circassia also doesn't have any um, allies, but I think I'm gonna invade Ryzon first. It's just a 
So that's just a free one. And we'll send the free company up here as well. Put the leader out there. And then I'm going to leave this guy down here in case we can invade Circassia as well. Uh, okay, so Crime uh, Crimea is guaranteeing them. That's fine. I think then after this, we're probably just going to go right to war with Muscovy. Stack wiped and got a morale bonus for our general. Okay. Wait, what? Muscovy refuses to pay the annual tribute. Well, they're going to. The good amount of money for 50 mil hurts Muscovy. That's really good for us. As long as it hurts Muscovy. Oh, this is so good for us. Pulling with the local noble. Oh my goodness. Now we can invade Lithuania without having to deal with the Poles. Siege of Ryzen is over. We can piece them out for everything plus money. And let's get rid of that Ottoman diplomat. We'll wait for him to come back. I think we can take that. Beautiful. All right, excellent. We get everything we want from Ryzen and make sure that we raise and core. Is there a shortcut for raising? I don't remember. Is it Z? Control Z? I'll have to find out. I'll have to set up that shortcut later, but I don't think it's turned on right now. We'll just do it manually. Excellent. So everything is raised. Um, owning these provinces completes this mission, which gives us permanent claims. So we'll go back to the diplomat mode. And uh, for some reason, the claims are the same as this one, maybe? Not seeing them. Anyways. Uh, Fall of Ryzen, we get 10 more Horde Unity and move speed for 5 years. And if I do believe so, Muscovy is in a war with Tver. I think if I just insult Muscovy, uh, Novgorod will accept my alliance. And the Ottomans should accept rather quickly as well. We're not going to get power projection from this because we're not rivaled to them, but we will scornful insult them. That'll push these guys over to the alliance. Beautiful. And if I can get some favors with them, we can call them in. Or you can even promise them land. I mean, that'll be fine. I just have to beat Muscovy, and then everything else should be easy conquest. That's not bad, right? What, we're down like, I don't know, 6k? We should be able to do that. I'm gonna keep doing this. Force the Muscovy tribute. We're just taking all this loot. It's definitely gonna hurt them. Uh, we're focusing on mill. Gotta make sure that we do that. Um, otherwise, they're gonna fall behind. I'd like to get tech four, oh, but we don't even have feudalism, do we? Okay, well, we need to get feudalism. Um, if they get tech four before us, we're out of luck. We need to beat them soon. Ha, they learned their lesson. They pay me my dang tribute. Oh, these guys uh, still have no allies. We'll just um, do the tribal conquest on them, I think. Uh, we're waiting for we're waiting for um, Uzbek to join the war against uh, Muscovy. Uh, we'll do this in the meantime. Make sure to core up all of Ryzen that pushes us towards feudalism. Uh, we need to get that so we can get the next tech. Um, I think tech 4 mil, we attack Muscovy as long as we're on par with them. I think this will fail our state agenda because we're taking the land ourselves, but I don't care. Not a really a lot we can raise here, but... Everything is everything is something. Core all of that. Let's get back up towards the border. I think we're going to declare on them soon. I think I just have to do it. Um, Uzbek's kind of being a baby, but eh. It's whatever. They might be able to be called in later. But just to make sure we win all the fights. I can't have them being tech 4 and me not being tech 4, so we have to be careful of that. Oh! Livonian Order and the Teutons are helping me in this fight. We're kind of losing that one. That's really helpful. They're basically an ally within an ally, or a pseudo-proxy alliance, whatever you want to call it. All right, we got Moscow. I think I'm gonna group these guys up here and maybe take a fight or two. Uh, this is a superiority war, so it's important to do that. Um, that's a level one for it. We'll try and get that down. Oh, we're gonna win that on their own, but more is helpful. I'm trying to stack up as much as we can. How much, how much troops do they have? 15K, oh, wow. Teutons were really smacked them earlier. That's really good for us. What would we even take in this war? Okay, let's look at the peace deal here. So it's really important to check on this. So from them, I want to make sure I take at least these provinces. Ah. Uh, I need Moscow. So that's that's good. Um, but also my missions. I have a big old war with Muscovy again. So I think the missions might be more important. Um, it wants me to have all of these. And then I can get uh, money. And I can progress down this tree. Um, but of course, if I get those provinces up there, I get more permanent reigns claims on the Russian region. So I either should probably take this for the forts or should go up this way and do that. That might not be the best option or the the, the, the worst option. I think that's pretty good. Yeah, I think we'll do that. Oh, they're so screwed. They're caught on the steps against the horde. Oh my God. What was I worried about? Muscovy is nothing. That five, that five shock general is huge, by the way. Just massive. All right, this is easy. Let's just occupy everything we need so that uh, we can uh, we can get her done. We get another fight in the steps. I mean, we win every fight in the steps. We don't have that many cab either. Yeah, it was a tough one, but uh, we won it. I'd probably stack up if I follow him this way. I think I'll do that. It's superiority war. We need to go for the fights. It would have been a much harder victory, but um, our units are down here dealing with rebels. There it is. Let's go. Big stack wipe incoming. Oh, come on. You stole my freaking war score, you 
bitch. That's fine. We're going to peace out for this. I just wanted this fort mostly. And yeah, that looks good to me. Coalition, I don't care. Orthodox countries, some orthodox countries. Not giving anything to Navgrad. They really didn't help too much. We're going to gain some ducats and uh, press 5% available loot for certain advisors. That's pretty nice. Now that we have feudalism, we can embrace. Go ahead and take the tech four. That's very important. Uh, we probably should get that up to tech five as well. The infantry and cavalry shock, really big. And we need to go ahead and raise and core everything. Raising Moscow, lots of power points there. Uh, we got to deal with the rebels for whatever reason they're on the fort. Oh, nope, just Crimea. Raise that. All right, I think everything's raised. Now we can core. We're a little low on the admin. Um, I think we should probably maybe focus that soon, but um, it's a few years before we can even do that. Might as well take the dip tech. And I think Crimea is our next target. We get one more province over here. We should be good to go. And then if we look at our reform, the Golden Horde, we need a few more provinces from Muscovy, probably like one more war with them. And then Kazan, Nogai, and Uzbek. So we need to head down that way, but uh, Crimea is the next target. From Kazan, I think I just take the one. Oh, that's their capital, though. That's the thing. I'd like to co-belligerent them. What I think I'll do is I'll just take money and war ups from them, and then... Hopefully in the next war, I'll be able to take out Kazan. So we'll get up here like we're going to peace out Kazan first, and then we'll deal with Crimea. Oh, they're no longer a valid rival for me right away. That's so stupid. All right, well, again, we, I wish we could have rivaled them first, but it is what it is. Let's fight Tribal Conquest for a tin, and we're going to try and peace out Kazan as fast as we can. Any fight we can take, the, it'll be good. Oh, yeah, right here. No. Oh, come on, dude. Really? Bullets in the way. Oh, man. That's just so many units. This might have been a mistake. Uh, we're going to fight them. I'm losing some money. Oh, yeah. That tech 4 mil is huge. I'm gonna also going to sort you to try and save some... There we go. It's a nice high ratio. Let's go up to Kazan. Tech 4 mil is a huge advantage. Take advantage of that when you can. I just want to peace out Kazan for as much as they'll give me. Oh, yeah. Stack wipe here, too. If I can just piece them out. Money, war ups, whatever. Stack that war score. Nice. Occupy as much as I can. We might have a favorable fight here. We took the war goal, they went back to resiege it, and now we can stack wipe Kazan. Probably stack wipe these guys here too, whenever we fight them next. Yeah, they're running away there. They know I can screw them up. I'll take armor tradition for loyalty. That sounds like a good trade. I just hope that Lithuania doesn't start declaring war on the Crimea and then I can't uh, take my provinces. I'll be really sad. Ugh. I'll lose the stab. That sucks. I'll spend the admin. It's fine. Big fight over here. Let's use this guy to start occupying all that stuff. Once this fort falls, we'll peace out Kazan for whatever we want. Looks like the Livonian Order is going to take Pskov, but probably all they can take. Wow, they just partitioned them. They had them re release Tver and release Nithinovgorod as independents, and the Perm is no longer uh, their subject. Neither is Rostov. Okay. Well, if I take this, this, and this, Nanko Belligerent, I can attack Perm without their any allies. I can also attack N Nogai at any time because their uh, Uzbek is cruel, so that's good. We can get a lot of wars done really fast here. I'm going to go for a Humiliate and War Reps and Money from Kazan. That should weaken them enough. And now we can go back down here and unsiege this. And then we can probably declare war on no guy at the same time. All we have to do is finish this siege and we can march over there. Get rid of these edicts that are expensive. Crimea, I want every province I need to form the Great Horde if they can give it to me. Or the Golden Horde, rather. So really, it's these are the most important. But if I can full annex them, which I can, I will. Oh my goodness. All right, so the guarantee is gone from all of these guys. To form the Golden Horde, I need uh, this province here, this province here, um, and uh, these guys are still a vassal, unfortunately, so we'll have to fight them again. But this is just breaking up my war score with Muscovy so quickly. I can take this stuff and this stuff. Let's declare the wars. Um, I think these guys are more important. I'll take the tribal superiority there. You can go there, and then you're just going straight here. No guy can wait. Let's get these before they get allies in Europe. Oh, they don't see my black flag. Oh, the A doesn't see black flag. Which route are you going to cast them off? Yeah, you're doomed, dude. Okay. And you're retreating probably somewhere up here. And we stack a wipe. Let's go ahead and take the tech five. That's a pretty big one. Now we're pretty much ahead on ev everybody. Nobody's got tech five over here. So we should just steamroll through the hordes. Right, we're going to full annex these guys, take all their money. Excellent. And then, of course, raise and core everything. One more province that we needed for the golden horde has been acquired. And now we have to fight Tver. So I'll send these guys here to fight the rebels. Um, hopefully the siege finishes soon um, and we can fight uh, full annex Crimea, full annex Tver, and then we'll take the provinces we need from Nogai, snake towards Uzbek. Eventually we'll break that alliance, take that province we need, take the one province from Kazan, and then one more war with Muscovy, and that's it. We can get the Golden Horde 
really, really fast. All right, time to go to war with Tver. They weren't long for this world. Not quite a stack wipe, but that'll do it. Finally, Crimea's done. Yeah, that's not, a that's not really an important coalition. Those guys will probably come on to me. Oh, we get Theodoro as a uh, vassal there. Okay, interesting. Or is it a tribute? I'm not sure what kind of subject it is. Tribute, that's fine. Again, raising and coring. Oh, that's so much. Let's go. Such a good feeling. All right, that completes another couple of missions for us. Uh, steps to the south, we get 10 Horde Unity, which is maxed already. 10 Prestige, and then we get some base points. And then this one gives us Cav Cost um, and available loot for 15 years. Sweet, and a, a new um, a ruler personality. Okay. Be neat if uh, our ruler got it now. To be honest, I should kill the baby. That's 50 prestige. Wait till after we peace out of the war, then we'll kill the baby. And we're a great power, okay. Impressive. That does another mission, really? Okay. It must be down here, strengthen the Basques. Uh, total dev, 150. Number of subjects, at least three. Um, I don't think I have three subjects, it's just the one. So my total dev must be uh, must be high enough. Grown by at least 150, okay. Main power recovery speed, oh, we need that. And bonus monarch points from tributaries. Okay. Uh, gov cap goes down, which we're fine for now. We take that for sure. And we'll full annex there. Nice. It's one more province that we need for the Golden Horde has been acquired. Okay, now we just need a few more provinces from Muscovy and their subject. So, yeah, just these two provinces here. And then we got it. And then now we might as well fight Nogai, I think. So let's send the units over here. Tribal superiority um, from Nogai. I need to make sure that I take a certain number of provinces, at least their capital. And then it'd be nice to get a border with Uzbek because I do need to take um, two of their provinces. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's do the war goal of... Oh, no, guys, probably fine. Take their capital. Off to war we go again. Here I go, raising again. Taking a big fight up here. Ooh, government reform. National tax, early corruption. Manpower, please. Oh, wow. What tech are they, three? Oh, three to five tech. Yeah, that's that's not that's not fair, is it? They don't have any forts other than level one fort here. So we'll just have the mercs siege, siege that down. And uh, try and follow the stack the best we can. See if we can wipe them. From them... I need at least this province. Just that province is all I need. And a border would be great. Might as well make them um, an island within ourselves. That looks good. I don't care about that coalition, dude. They have truces with everyone. And stack wipes incoming. There's one. He's pretty fast. We'll have to hunt him down. Oh, that's a lot of tribal rebels. Damn. There we go. Caught him out. Okay. That's dealt with. I might need my merc stack to help me with those tribal rebels. Otherwise, I'm going to lose a lot of men. Oh, these rebels. All right, safe. Oh, I'll lose the 10 prestige. I'd rather keep my reformer. Get back onto that siege. Ottomans wants my land in Crimea badly, so they're not going to be want to be friendly with me. It's fine. I'll need to find other allies though, because Uzbek needs to die. All right, we can peace out no guy for 27 ducats in all these provinces. Go ahead and do that. Yeah, now we can raise and core stuff again. Losing great power status? I don't think so. Everything's already three dev over here, unfortunately. Core all of that up. All right. Now we just need to fight the Uzbek. They do have an alliance with me yet. I might hold on to that for a little while longer. I need to fight Kazan though. Our truce is up in 67, though. How's the Muscovy truce? 67. Same time. Okay. Um, we might just be able to chill for a little bit. We're just allied to his and Kaifa. Maybe, maybe I kill Kazikamuk. If I can get a tributary. I don't want to go too hard. I'll get tributaries down here. That's fine. We'll tributary you. Genoa doesn't want to be a tributary. All right. So at least we can get a few more things from them. Money uh, or mana. I think mana would be more important. If I can get admin from them, I will. All right. They're all loyal. We'll keep trying to get the admin. What? Three extra a year? Yeah, that's fine. This is unfortunate because I kind of want allies. We're going to rival Uzbek. Start that truce timer. We need to catch up on our admin though. Badly. When can I focus this? 65. That's so long from now. All right. We're going to hope we get a different air. This is just not a good, not a good air at all. That's a much better air. 155. It's low on the admin. I'll take, but I'll take it. I need to focus admin at least. I'm going to fire and rehire the free company. Actually, do I need to do that even yet? I'd save some money and not do that. We have no war targets right now. We're kind of truced in. So we're going to just kind of chill until uh, at least 65 when we can fight um, Uzbek. But they're allied to Delhi. That's my ally, dude. At least it will be. Oh, never mind. You won't be. So might as well cancel that alliance. Um, who's your rivals? The Oirat. Oirat likes me. I can fight Uzbek and Delhi. No problem. What's an alliance to Hungary as well? Um, that'll hopefully box the Ottomans in a little bit. I'm upset that I gave knowledge sharing to Uzbek because I can't even ask for knowledge sharing from Hungary until uh, until that's done. So it's going to be a while until I get Renaissance. And I could spend this on generals, but I'm just going to take tech six. Yeah, that's fine. Oh, we rolled a nice general. Three, four, and two. Still got three maneuvers, so he's fast. And we'll just kick one of these baddies. All right, I think I beat them here no matter what. So I'm going to declare for this province. Um, this is one of the ones we need to form the Golden Horde. It's also 18 devs, so I believe that reduces the cost. 
And we'll go ahead and do that and see if these guys are able to run away from me or not. It's the opposite of what I wanted to do, but I still win the fight. Superiority war, so as long as we take battles, we should be fine. Take the Wargle and then send him to sieging. We don't need this anymore. Can this just stop happening? I hate losing this unity every year. Like, they don't even have any money in their provinces. I, I hit yes, and then nothing. There's nothing. Well, there's a few, but everything else is devastated. There's nothing. There's no money for them to give me. Look at that stack of whites. We'll just keep. We'll just keep doing that. Fighting up here in the steps. If if Delhi wants to come up and join us, they can. We're gonna beat them. They're just hiding over here in Siberia now, trying to play a game of attrition or what? And I hate that sometimes. Navy tradition. Okay. And that's a stack wipe. We'll send him back down this way. Probably carpet siege everything. Really, they're losing that war. That's not good. I want to be able to occupy everything I need. Well, I have this, so it doesn't really matter. As long as I have this province, we're good. And let's do a little bit of carpet siege. Let's drop some stacks off as we go. Hit detach a couple times. You know, this is no kit. This is not bad. Three, five, four. I mean, that's kind of better than what we had. We lost the stab, but God, the heiress are so crappy. At least our ruler's decent. If I had prestige, I'd kill the baby. Spend some. We have some positive stab for once. Uzbek wants peace, not yet. Let's move towards legalism. I want the tech cost. 379 to core that. Ugh. Let's kill the baby. I need a better heir. Well, Aura gets to capture the Ming Emperor, but I don't think they're doing very well. No, actually, they just want to fight. Okay, good luck. All right, let's peace out with Uzbek. Actually, no, let's wait until we get this four. We need to take at least some kind of money. All right, we get 100% peace um, for all of these provinces. And we'll go ahead and do that. Send that demand. We have everything we need for the Golden Horde, aside from the Russian stuff. That completes a mission. The people of Kazakh... Get some manpower. Ooh, release Kazakh as our vassal. Or gain 100 admin. Well, no, we can't. We need the provinces ourselves, right? Yeah, we need them ourselves. So we can't do that. So I guess we get the 100 admin, which is good because we need the admin. We also need the manpower. So that's pretty good events. Um, now we can raise and core everything. And then we can get ready to go to war in like a month almost with uh, Kazan and Muscovy. And then we can form the Golden Horde after we take those provinces and core them. And we'll core all of those. Beautiful. We can take a tech ahead of time for innovativeness. I'll do it. And we can set another rival. I think Lithuania would be a good target because we do need provinces from them to form Mongolia, or the Mongol Empire, rather. And Truce With You ends in August, and Truce With You ends in October. So we'll get ready to go over with Kazan first. Send the Merc stacks up here. These guys can chill right here. And we might as well rival oh, Novgorod as well. That is a much better baby. All right, that's good. Uh, now we just need him to... Uh, these guys to live long enough where we don't have succession crisis and we should be all right. Okay, we can show superiority on these guys because uh, they are just released from Muscovy. And we need their provinces. So all these vassals getting released from Muscovy is really good for our uh, our provincial war score cost. Detach from Siege there. Wipe him out. Detach there. Dump the guy over here. I'll finish this war really fast. Um, and this is actually a pretty decent one for a horde. Uh, aggressive expansion is good, but I think the uh, combat bonus in capital... Really solid, because their capital is on steps, and everything in Kazan is steps. Um, we're going to smoke them when we go to war in a minute. Muscovy being fractured like this is just super, super good for us. All right, that's one more province that we need. All we need now is Vladimir from them, and then we need Kazan. So they're at war with Muscovy. Oh, nice. Chagatai and Mogulstan won't join. That's hype. Let's just go to war now. Send the siege pips over here. Sweet. God, we're so fortunate with all our wars here. Oh, that's stupid. Kazan vassalized Muscovy, so I can't take him out in a separate war. That is so dumb. Okay, well, at least I know the provinces I need. Just those two. I can take whatever else I need, I suppose. I want to get the rest of Muscovy. I just need Kazan. God, they're so annoying. You know, I'll leave, I'll leave Muscovy with most of their stuff. Maybe something like that. That looks good, I guess. Because I'm in their vassals, man. We're outnumbered here, but I think we win pretty easily. Oh, yeah. I'm going to chase them down and see if I can wipe them in the second battle. Put these guys up. We're going to go all the way over here, probably. All right. Deal with the rebels. Something like that would be a good piece. Huge battle over here. Not quite a stack wipe. Like one war score from that. That's kind of stupid. Can we even take this re realistically? I need like 400, probably call it 300 admin to finish the course. So not really. All right, here we go. Fight them with low morale on our capital. Or next to our capital, rather. Still drylands, flatlands area. That should be a stack wipe. There it is. All right, 82% war score. Not quite enough to take all that land. Few more reasons, few more occupations. Should be able to do it. All right, they will accept this. This is all the provinces I need for the Golden Horde. We can complete this mission, seizing Nizhny Novgorod, get 50 mil power, and permanent claim on the Russia region. That'll make some of our cores cheaper. Now we just need to own a few more provinces, so we just need to go to war with uh, Novgorod itself. Um, and then we can get the Cossack force limits, bonuses, some prestige, um, and progress down the mission tree. We also completed another mission, probably somewhere down here. Matters of religion. Tolerance of Devotion and Confucian Missions. All right, we'll see what these uh, end up being. Branching Missions. Tolerant Branch. 
Gives us tolerance per level of theologians. And a state privilege for more tolerance. Kev cost and Kevin, true ratio. Makes my ruler a zealot. A few provinces for unifying Islam. Okay. And we're not Confucian, so it doesn't really matter. So, so we want to make it ourselves like a more religious horde, or do we want to be more tolerant? I like being religious, you know? But, yeah. Yeah, why not? We're playing until the end of the game. We might as well get that. You know, we'll unify Islam at some point. We'll go ahead and select that one. Option number two. Now we just need to start converting some provinces. And we'll go ahead and raise and core all of this stuff. And then we should be able to form the Golden Horde with those uh, cores finish. And we can finally take tech four. And uh, we should try and push towards that as fast as we can. I want to get admin ideas, I think, first. Because we're really low on the admin. Um, and then we can get dip ideas. All right, here we go, boys. The cores are finished. We can form into the Golden Horde. And we will definitely say yes, please. Oh, that color is so beautiful. I love it. All right, the ideas, so much better. 25% CCR right here at number two. Once we get our admin ideas, it's going to be massive. That's what we want to get the admin ideas. We can push through that admin and be really, really good to go. Manpower recovery speed. Like, we're going to be going quantity at some point in this game. Um, we have to, pretty much. So, uh, yeah, we'll do that. And, um, geez, manpower recovery speed should be 20%. National manpower, 25%. I mean, we're going to have so much manpower. The cap combat ability, great. Horde unity, awesome. We're going to be so strong. All right, now we just need to get our, uh, our admin ideas, like, ASAP. We're expanding so fast where we're just using so much admin. We need to get our um, our renaissance. I'll encourage dev here and try and enforce it. We have a lot of mill and uh, dip to spend. Yeah, we probably could have upgraded that. That's fine. One more click, maybe. There it is. All right. We can take out some loans and embrace. I think it's definitely worth it. Um, and then now we'll get the uh, we'll get that tech level five for admin really soon. We're gonna have to go back to war. It's just how it's gonna have to be. Uh, Novgorod is the next target. But uh, let the day pass. We get the achievement. Gold rush. No, I haven't done this. I have been wanting to do this achievement for a long time. Uh, but I, I just I just never got around to it. But this was a, this was a pretty fun, a pretty fun like less than thirty years. Really exciting achievement, you guys. Well, well, guys, that's gonna call it for today's video. Um, in the next episode, we're going to be going to war with Novgorod and pushing into uh, Asia to try and form the Mongol Empire before the 1600. I don't see too many problems with that. Yeah, I don't. I don't see too many problems with that. We can definitely restore the Mongol Empire. But yeah, we're gonna be getting a lot of these achievements really fast in the next episode. Once we're gonna restore the Mongol Empire, now we're just gonna go to town. So, uh, hope you guys enjoyed this one. Thank you very much for watching, and as always, I will see you next time. <laughs>